I'm not smiling about this. My six-year-old's counting me down here. All right, the tentacles of Michael Cohen's guilty. doing a great job. Too, <laughs> it's a future in television. The tentacles of Michael Cohen's guilty plea reach far beyond the doors to the Oval Office. It's a new world out there today, not only for Donald Trump, but for his kids. Multiple sources have confirmed to Yahoo News that the president's elder daughter, Ivanka, who's now a top White House advisor, and his eldest son, Don Jr., were also working to make Trump Tower Moscow a reality. And while their level of involvement is an open question, it seems Don Jr. might have some explaining to do. From Natasha Bertrand in The Atlantic, quote, according to the criminal information filed by Mueller on Thursday, Cohen discussed the Moscow deal with Trump's family members within <coughs> the Trump organization. Donald Trump Jr., an executive vice president of the Trump Org, told the Senate Judiciary Committee last year that he was only peripherally aware of the Moscow deal in 2016. Um, <laughs> liars. Yeah. All liars. Yeah. Here, here's the thing, you know, and I, 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 I cite someone like Emily Jane Fox, who talked about this a lot yesterday, and I think she's right about this. If you know anything, you spend any time or talking to Donald Trump and being in that world uh, in the past, whether it was in this campaign or previously. Right. It's just how small it is. Yeah. And, and the smallness of it, the claustrophobia of it, how the family, in some respects, is totally dysfunctional. And, and there are many ways, I mean, all dysfunctional families are dysfunctional in their own way. But the one thing that they share is that is the sense of that, the tightness of this yeah. family around the name and in the, the physical proximity that they all worked for so long. It is not, there are just not very many secrets around things that involve money. Many secrets among the Trumps, not things that involve potential money that would enrich all of them. And this was a thing that was seen as a way of enriching all of them. And so they all knew what was going on, I am certain. The, the other point, and, and it's important to always point this, because I remember when it was first explained to me, it was a revelation. He is not a successful businessman. He inherited a bunch of money, the fantastic New York Times investigation about how uh, the whole story about his wealth is, is a giant fraud. And then a tax cheat. And then a tax cheat. Um, but it, he, and, and his friends, this is something his friends say about him. He ran a family office with only his family and some administration, uh, administrative folks in it. Look, his campaign was, I'm too rich to be bribed or be corrupt. Uh, but in <laughs> fact, he never actually <laughs> made his own fortune. Yeah. He had a lot of failures. He relied on his dad to bail him out over and over again. Mm -hmm. The one thing you notice when you read about the Trump family and their business is that all the kids were involved in all the projects mm -hmm. all the time. Right. They're out there promoting. They're selling apartments mm -hmm. to investors. Mm -hmm. They're making claims about the actual versus the real uh, vacancy rate in buildings in Panama. They're going to Baku, I believe, to sell the tower over there. Yes. They are ev they're in China. They're everywhere. And they were making trips all through the first year of his presidency, which caused a lot of consternation. So the idea that this, this Trump Tower Russia, which, as we've discussed, was a big priority, mm -hmm. but somehow the one thing not on their radar screen does not seem likely to me. And, 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 and the other open question seems to be, what has their, con when we found out that Ivanka was using a personal email, they got the spin machine in place right away when that story broke. Oh, you know, just details and logistics. Well, if she was involved in Trump Tower Moscow, if Michael Cohen is admitted to lying out of loyalty to Trump, don't we need to know what's on her email server? Uh, absolutely. And not only that, she's been making money off of uh, getting trademarks for her shoes right. in China, right? So there is, I mean, all of them are so corrupt. I mean, it, what we're finding out is it was a family business, yes, but not only a family business, but also kind of sort of a criminal enterprise as well. So they brought that into the campaign and now into the presidency, which is really scary. And yes, she should be. We should be doing oversights and finding out. She is the senior advisor to the president of the United States, not just the daughter of the president. And that's what's so amazing about the Michael Cohen bombshell yesterday is that it brought us closer to Donald Trump <clears throat> and his family. And there's the question, it may give us the answer of what did he know and when did he know it? And it's all of the family has been pulled into those two questions now. Fred, oh, go ahead. This, this always jumps me uh, ahead to where we all think this is going to go and this, it's, the, right. it's the coffee clad sort of story that we have. So if one of the kids goes down first, what does Trump do? Because okay. that, that's really what this boils down to. It, it's much more likely that Don Jr. or Ivanka could end up getting in trouble for, for lying or some sort of petty business than the president. And will he, will he make compromises? Will he make deals on behalf of his children? Or is Trump really about himself? And that's what we're going to find out fairly soon. And Frank, we, we have other people in Trump's circle to look to. When Mike Flynn's son was ensnared, Mike Flynn made a deal. I think Paul Manafort had a son-in-law that was under scrutiny. Uh, Jared Kushner obviously has a, a, a 
famous father who was uh, tangled with the law. I mean, where, where there are two, and it's amazing that there are so many families for whom two generations are ensnared in this criminal investigation. Yeah, and I, look, I've seen this work both ways in, in public corruption cases. I have seen high-ranking officials told that their child is exposed criminally and they need to cut a deal, and I've seen them walk away from it. And uh, much to the, but by the way, much to the chagrin of their spouse, who tells them they, they need to cut that deal. And then I've seen corruption officials say, I'm, I'm not letting my kid go to jail. I'll do whatever's necessary. I don't know where this is going to come down, but, but based on what I see of Trump and observing his, be, uh, observing his behavior, he'll lash out. He'll fire Rosenstein, he'll file, file, fire Mueller before he cuts a deal for one of his kids. Frank, we always love having you, but yesterday and today, we really needed you. Thank you for being there for us.